Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Prado 150 out of here. on Bribey Island, um, about to go find our spot on the beach to camp, uh, so we just let the tides down before we go on the beach, um, yeah. What are we going down to mate? 18. Yeah, sounds good, yeah. sounds good to me. So here we are, we're going to do a bit of camping on the beach, and Ocean Beach camping, 16Ks. Yeah, beautiful bit of water. So here we are guys, uh, not knowing much about what numbers and sites to book. We booked number 23, but it actually happens to be a shared um, a shared site, so that's it there. So that's it there, 22, 23. Um, these guys are going tonight because they reckon there's going to be uh, gusts of winds quite, uh, quite big, so yes, anyway, can't do much about that. See how fun we'll have to just tighten everything down. This sand's pretty soft. We'll have to run a bit late. Tide, high tides in about an hour's time, so um, yeah, so we've been driving in all this soft sand. There's our tracks there. So uh, anyway, we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna have some fun. Just going a little bit lower on the tires. You can see we're starting to just dig in there, so. What we got there, Lockie? Probably about 13, 14. Yeah, that's that's what we'll need. It's just that it makes it a bit difficult. Not difficult, just makes it more challenging when you're telling something. So I'll just go back. The sand is rather soft here, getting up into our campsite. So we're going to take a bit of a run up, a longer run up, and uh, see how we go. Guys, here we are. We are at uh, Bribey Island. Boys, camping. We can only pick these couple of days because uh, when they get older, they all start working, don't you, hey? Man hours. We yeah, when Joshua hours. goes back on, when do you go? Oh no, you had a date tonight, tomorrow, a Friday night. He had a date with a young lady, starting with P. So I had to be back by uh, Friday afternoon. So I'll, these were the only three days we could do I was it. going with, with them. It's not much of a day. Oh, you're going with them? With, with their brother. Ah. So, yeah, we've kind of, these are the only three days, so I suppose um, weather-wise, you can't pick the weather, but uh, there was a, another car on the other side here um, that was uh, camped up, and he's, they're leaving tonight because they reckon it's going to be too windy, so he's just left. But he's still got the booking for tonight, so we've basically got two campsites to ourselves, so that's good. We didn't realise when we booked it, 
um, that this was a shared one. So uh, there's not, well, maybe there is a lot of information. I didn't find it. I just picked uh, a number. So while we're here, we'll, we'll go and check out the other campsites and see what the good numbers are. But this looks pretty well protected. I think we're gonna we're gonna be all right, aren't we, boys? Hey, yep. the Prado did well to come up that hill, didn't it? A couple of tries. Had a couple of goes, but we are towing. I think the tyres we ended up down to about 14, didn't we? 14. But uh, yeah, she's pretty soft. We had to drive on the soft stuff because uh, tide's coming in. So anyway, we're gonna have some lunch and uh, get set up, eh? Hey? So guys, uh, you guys want to know how we set up the trailer. So here we are, we're at Bribey Island on a beach uh, campsite. We're just back a bit, which is which is good. It's going to be good tonight, seeing there's uh, going to be a bit of wind around. So um, what we do when we pull up, we've just leveled it. So we use the, the, uh, the yellow block there to drive up on. So we've just had to lift up that. Because it's got no brakes, you got to make sure we've got chocks on the other side so it doesn't roll away. So um, yeah, we've just done that there. And Josh was doing a great job. Um, we're gonna put the legs out. So these are just the stabilizer legs, obviously just to keep things uh, nice and stable. Sorry about the wind, if you can hear the wind uh, going through the camera. So yeah, we're just um, doing this. And uh, we're all a bit hungry. So we've got the tenders going in the, in the oven. So we're gonna grab that out and uh, have them and then uh, set the rest of them up, hey? What do you reckon, boys? Sounds good? All right. I'll give you a hand a minute, I'll just deliver um, the king, the king, his uh, pasito. There you go. Sitting in the driver's seat here. Hey, Josh, you right there, mate? Yes. You're sitting in the king's seat. Would you like a pasito? Yep. Delivered. Yep, what do you say? And she's spill it on my Thank you. seat covers. No, on my leg. Good. Tell you what, eh? So for lunch, Lockie, what are we having, mate? Like wraps. Yep. And uh, thanks to the road chef again, we've uh, got we've been cooking chicken tenders on the way up. So the old Prado. She was a bit, the sand was a bit soft, but uh, she did well. A little bit soft towing a, uh, a trailer as well. So, uh, as you saw, getting back, getting up into the track. I'm getting hungry, Lockie. I'm getting hungry looking at you cooking up that. You, you're doing well, mate. Oh, well. You can get started. Now, what we have to do is we have to, um, one of you has to cook dinner tonight and the other one's dinner tomorrow night, so. Burgers tonight and those uh, chicken things tomorrow night. Who's cooking what? The burgers. You're cooking burgers, are you? Yep. All right, you're the burger man. Lockie, you can do the chicken ones. I'll give you a hand, mate, with the chicken ones. What are we doing with chicken? Well, we've got these chicken rolled up chicken things that we got from the butcher. And we're going to put them in some alfoil and cook them in the coals for a bit. With, um, you know, with a bit of salad and, and uh, potato. I'm going to put some potatoes in there as well. What do you call them? Potato with sour cream. Spuds. Spuds, yep. Joshua doesn't like them. But anyway, they'll go in there. They'll go in the fire as well. So you know how to, uh, you pop, everyone probably knows this, but if you're new to uh, coming out to Bribey Island, you know how to uh, collect firewood, you have to bring your own firewood here. So, so uh, yeah, you're not allowed to uh, bring your, you're not allowed to collect firewood, you have to bring your own. So. Yes. Okay. G'day. Is that mine? No. Nope. Oh. <laughs> Serious? You know, yeah, you, you can have it. have it. Oh, it's coming out the ends. There you can no, have you, it. No, you have it. I'll, I'll make mine. It's all right. Sure. I won't be mean. I won't be mean to you and take it off you. Looks like you've made it with love, mate. Love and care. Looks like it's falling apart, though. Mm. Finger it's hole. It's had a um finger boss. It's had a bloody hole. It's had a um what do you call it? Had a blow. It's had a blowout. Oh. Bit of a blowout there, Josh. Yeah, blowout. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> get the dog. So guys, we just had a bite to eat. The stomachs are filled, now it's time to set up. So everything's in, the, in here. So, um, I'm just gonna pull it out. Got a bit of wood here, so I'll just grab that out first. It's a bit heavy that one. It's a lot of wood in here. So uh who we got? Someone's bag. Your bag lucky? No. Just put it out, I'll put it over here so that um doesn't get dirt on it. So what we do, we just slide these uh, swags out. The easiest way is just through here. There we go, job done. A couple of bags in there, we can get the bags to stay in there. Um, I'll put that back in there for a minute. Packs can go there. This is a bit of a storage place when we're camping. Uh, that's for the gazebo. That's for my tent. I'll show you how we do that. And uh, this is our little sink. So this is pretty basic. It just comes out like that. Just goes like that. And this is uh, our little thing in there. Sink. So it's all good. As, uh, guys, I'll get these kids in the line. They can set up their swags. We've just got our chairs over there. Uh, we've got our wood in the uh, drifter bag here. Respect the beach. Respect the beach. We've got the right bag. Nice. Nicely done, hey. So um, the next step here is uh, the rooftop tent. Doesn't take long at all. And we've got a gazebo. So the kids can do that. But yeah, we just tie the gazebo on here and the gazebo is going to cover um, our cooking and eating area. And the only other thing I get out is I just put a, um, a uh, cooker up here and we leave the gas bottle plugged in over there and we just run the lead out um, to there. So we'll show you that when we get that set up. So it's pretty easy, pretty basic. Uh, we're almost done. And uh, apart from that boggy bit up there, generally easy to tow. Proved first time I had this actual trailer um, on the beach, so um, we've let the tyres down um, on that one as well. So uh, yeah, pretty easy to tow, and uh, we'll have camp set up soon. So guys, rooftop tent. You guys are probably familiar with a rooftop tent. Probably um, don't know, don't need to showing how to put one up but this one's pretty easy it's the uh, TJM uh, Booyah and we got that with the trailer brand new survive the cape so uh, it's just a matter of getting this cover off and we just um, do this like so it's pretty dusty from our cape off and then, yeah I just wanted the room uh, we had a consensus I don't know if you can hear me over the wind but the boys don't want to put the gazebo up so the gazebo is not getting put up thing to undo so oh, you gotta use your muscles here unsuck it all and that just comes out like that all ready to go and that's it 
um, I won't show you. I won't show you me putting my bed in, but yeah, I'll be had everything washed since the cape so um, normally you can, you, I can keep my bedding in there in one of my videos you can even see I can leave my bag in there that's how much room's in this one so uh, there you go pretty much we're pretty much set up kids do their swags and that's it basic basic uh, camp setting up um, for a couple of days isn't it cheers <coughs> Side's got one of these, um, well, there's wind, but more rain protection there, so got that. And this side's got one as well. I find if you don't pull them up, don't put them up, especially in the wind like it is now, and the night we hear is this flat, 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 flat. But like this, when they're all up, um, yeah, it doesn't uh, doesn't seem to be any any dramas. And here we go, sleeping bags in, sheets in mattress protectors in so I mean for one person <laughs> there's absolutely plenty of room in there so uh, yeah can't fault it it's been great and uh, like I said we've, we've had it up and down up and down probably for three weeks solid uh, a lot of it's been overnighters and uh, yeah hasn't missed a beat so I'm very impressed by it and uh, it just makes uh, camping you know really really simple where I did the big run up to get up that hill so these are my tie marks here as you can see them so um, yeah there, there you go that's my big run up to get up that hill with the trailer on the back but uh, anyway I reckon it's going to be pretty windy You'll probably hear the wind but it's going to be pretty windy tonight they reckon and then um, tomorrow is going to be uh, worse apparently 30 k's an hour is the forecast for tomorrow. At least we're protected up there. Oh, we'll see how we go. I mean, if it gets um, unbearable, we'll just um, go and find another place to camp somewhere else. But oh, well, you get that, don't you? When you uh, when you go camping. But isn't this great, eh? This is awesome. I love the beach. Looking on the beach. So I may have probably picked a different site number if I knew uh, what they look like. But we're lucky there's no one else up there with us, so we've got the best of um, we get the best of both worlds. We've got probably got two sites there because the guy that was there for tonight, he's uh, he's gone. He reckons it's going to be too windy tonight. So here we are. Hey guys, just a bit of information. We've just done a bit of a walk to the toilet. Um, so we're at number 23, and the toilets are around about the 37 mark. Just for your information, so. If you want to be uh, close to the toilets, you need to be up around the 37 mark. Um, 37 to 48, I think the uh, campsites are. So, yeah, that gets you pretty much uh, right on the on the toilet. So there's cold showers and, uh, yeah, those, uh, you know, drop toilets. But they're not too bad. Um, yeah, just been in there. Reasonably clean for beach toilets. Obviously maintained by the ranger. So, um, yeah, just a bit, of a bit of a tip there, a bit of information if you're ever coming to Bribey Island to camp on the beach. So guys, yeah, we're just walking back from, uh, from those uh, toilets. 
uh, from about camp 37 back to 23 so I don't know it's about for us it's about 750 meters back to our campsite so uh, nice little good afternoon stroll along the beach burn off some energy for the kids so uh, back back to the campsite and uh, get our fire going and uh, we're gonna cook up some burgers tonight so I'm just gonna give that to one of the kids to do they can cook up some burgers Hopefully you can hear me right, it's pretty windy. See how the sound ends up. Going, just waking up on Bribey Island. Nice view from here, from the uh, rooftop tent. Yep. So uh, might be time to get up and uh, get coffee cracking. I think. Morning, Lucky. Morning. Josh still asleep. Uh. You awake there, Josh? Morning. <laughs> Guys, just uh, while the kids are waking up, I told them it was just going to be a fairly uh, relaxing, uh, you know, camping here, sleep in. 
eat, all that kind of stuff. So um, that's what they're doing. Uh, low tides, low tides in about an hour. So if we're going to go and do any driving, though. I did say we're going to have to um, pretty much uh, do it on low tide. So. Bacon and egg burgers this morning for brekkie, so uh, I might even be the cook for that one. So I feel sorry for the kids if I'm going to be doing the cooking. <laughs> anyway, this is what we're waking up to. Yeah, we're actually well protected uh, up there from the wind, which is good. So guys, uh, you can see the difference here, hey, look. This is the uh, low tide mark, so there's plenty of beach now, compared to when we came up last night. So uh, yeah, you can see where the tides come up to there. And uh, yeah, plenty of hard stuff to drive on, so we're probably going to have to pump the tides back up a little bit if we're going to drive on this hard stuff. Well, well guys, we're going to go get these kids out of bed so we can go for a bit of a drive, otherwise we're going to miss it, miss the time, miss the mark. Time for uh, some bacon and egg burgers, so uh, let's get into it, eh? Hmm. Morning, mate. Time for a bit of a... Teeth clean. How'd you sleep? Mm -mm. Uh, 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 uh. Mate, who's making? Uh, who's making breakfast? Told you. Mm. I told you I'd be in for it. Oh well, I feel sorry for you. Oh, you're making a mess there, mate. Look at that. What are you doing? But you don't stay in your jumper there, mate. Is uh, the other fellow out of bed yet? No. We better um, we better get breakfast cranking and. And get ourselves uh, eating. Oh. If you want to go for a bit of a drive on the beach, um, we've only got a window of opportunity, right? Probably about an hour or two from uh, 9:30. Yeah, you hear that, Josh? We might go up and see the. Um... Oh, you've seen the forts, haven't you, uh, Lockie? Mm -hmm. Have a bit of a look there. And uh, you guys have seen the fort too, eh? If you've been watching my videos, because um, I do a sunrise around about here and uh and i check out the fort that was my solo uh solo trip i've got the boys today giving me curry dack and my dack and my uh jeans like they did yesterday i don't know you gotta look after your dad eh you know that i'm getting old and frail now you gotta look after me that means you got to cook me breakfast, Lucky. Right. <laughs> oh, they're so nice, aren't they? We Teenagers. To, we have to help Teenage you and make boys. sure you still remember how to cook. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah, got me on that one. Oh, well, better get cracking, eh? Better go and find some uh, bacon. Get some bacon out of this fridge. Need them this morning. I'm sure, the boys would love to eat it. Um, that's for tonight. Don't need that. Bacon. The angle. The angle keeps going on and on and on. But the only thing I don't like is that when you want something, you got to go down to the bottom of the fridge if you haven't packed it properly, which I haven't packed it properly. So everything I want is down the bottom. I'm tossing up where to get one of those, you know, upright fridges. Just that if I uh, put one of them in, we'd have to change all this around. But hey, that's a thought. Let me know in your comments if you've got a um, upright fridge or a trusty angle or similar, whether it's worth spending the extra money and getting an upright fridge in there. Well, 
Well guys, I think we are in action. Chocolate coffee. So with the rolls, the eggs, the bacon, the hash browns and a couple of patties left over from last night. We'll cook them up. It's on now, yeah, just going to uh, put some hash browns in here, mate. With a knife to cut them open. So we've got two pans going. Pop that in the bin. So yeah, um, two each in there if they'll work. Yeah, you can the first one. No, that one. Just turn it down a bit. Just using the uh, Coleman Hyper Flame. The only, um, the only thing with this is <laughs> you can never turn them down enough. But they're good in the wind. Um, they've got this protection around them. So all these things we're using now, they've all survived Cape York. So they got to, they got to be good, eh? We bought this from uh, Tent, Tent World in uh, Toowoomba. So you're gonna give me a hand, mate. Feel a bit sorry for me. Need to turn down a bit, or you're right. Are you right? Uh, good. Right. You're sweet, eh? Very good. Very good, eh? Oh, these boys are. These boys are good, aren't they? Huh? This guy here, he's a good fella. Aren't you lucky? I am. Hey? Yeah. He's um. I don't know what what would you call you, mate? You're, you're um. Normal. You, you think about a few things. Normal. I'm not allowed to say that. I can't say you. You're more normal than, than, than my other people in the family, can I? Mm. No, I'm normal. <laughs> no, I'd like you to say I'm not normal. No, he's a good guy, he's a good bloke. I'm lucky. Very, I'm very lucky to have two good boys, hey. They're all different, they're both very different. Uh, as you'd imagine, so, uh, it's been great. We're getting a bit older now, so, the aim is to get out here and do as much of this kind of stuff that we can. Before they get too old and, uh, want to leave home and get married and all that kind of stuff, so uh, we, we get into it, don't we? Yeah, how old are you now? 15. 15, eh? Yeah, so um, don't get married too old, mate. Eh? Oh, he's, he's, he's got a few steps before he gets married, I suppose. you got to find someone first, don't you? Mm. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Lucky. If we're lucky, I think we're all done. Just um, keeping the old bread bowls up a bit. Ooh, look at that, eh? Awesome, mate. Awesome. Awesome, Brecky. Let's get into it. Josh, Brecky is ready. Beautiful. We we'll use this as a bit of a, wind, a bit of a workspace, a bit of a workbench, eh, Lucky? Yep. What else do you reckon? Well, I think we need we needed to bring the fold out table, I reckon. That would make life a bit easier. It's not so bad for three people though, it's pretty, been pretty good. Or we just bring the car over a bit closer somehow. Yep, we had room, we'd bring the car just, just behind us here, but um, access to the fridge and all that kind of stuff. But hey, we're camping. Can't make it too easy, can we? Top on, put the hash brown, look at that, eh? And sit down and enjoy the view of the ocean. Oh, what do you reckon, Lucky? Can't beat this, can ya? Even a bit on the chilly side, mate. Yeah. Cheers, buddy. Prado, 150. We're not out of here yet, but Prado 150 out of here.
Look at that, eh? Whoa, give us a look. Yes. Whoa. We don't do a good bad feed, do we, eh? No. Oh, I want you on there, Mr. Fly. Oh, yeah, look at that. Well, you can't beat that for a breakfast, can you, hey? Camping. Lucky. And look at that view. Isn't that. You can't beat that for a view, can you? Looking out to the ocean, protected from the wind here. She's a bit of chilly, almost a bit chilly. Almost time for a jumper, but not quite. Hey, this is our campsite. Joshua, he's probably still asleep. And uh, in a moment, I'll take you over and show you the Red Arc. It is performing perfectly. Thanks, Dan, the man from uh, Dan's Automotive at Toowoomba there. You've done a superb job. It's, uh... That's why you took all your food away. That's it. G'day, mate. How you going? How are you? Oh, bees off. G'day, mate. You're looking for some food, are you? Hey? How are you? You gotta watch out they don't run up your legs, is that right? Can you see him in there? He's over there somewhere. Hard to see in the foliage. It's come for some food. Talking about food, I gotta get back to my breakfast. How's it hanging, mate? Tasting all right? Tastes pretty good? I need my breakfast. Oh, man. I cannot fit one more thing in. That was a good brekkie. I am so full. Teenage tip. Fill them up. Keep their stomachs full. You won't have any dramas out of them. They won't go, No, nah, I'm hungry. I'm starving. You would see the eat. There's nothing to eat, hey. They're right, Loki. They're looking. So I brought some mozzie stuff. There's a few mozzies around. So, guys, uh, we're just out at the out of camp, obviously. Here, I just want to show you. I've got that new uh, installation of the Red Arc from um, Dan the Man. So uh, we are parked in the shade, obviously. So she's working a treat, charging up the battery. So I just want to show you. Uh, we got 13.7 volts going at the moment. I haven't started the car yet, and uh, it's obviously been running off. Uh, we had the lights on, um, the camp lights and the fridge. The kids have been charging up their phones and all that as well. So uh, I'm very happy. I'm very happy with it. You, if you watch my other videos, you know all the dramas I had uh, before. So um, uh, even though last time when I was at Cape York, I yeah. Uh, I was running a freezer at the same time. Today we're not running a freezer, obviously, but um, I'm extremely happy with the way the system works. And uh, these guys, well, these Red Arcs, they have a system in, as part of their thing, and that is that they, um, if you're driving the car and you're driving in the sun and during the day, it tries to do the most efficient charging, and uh, it switches you over to solar while you're driving along the road, uh, if it's obviously got enough, uh, enough juice to do that. So I'm very impressed, very happy, and uh, Dan from Dan's Autos in Toowoomba, sensational job mate, thank you, um, it's working a treat. Go! Let me shut the door first. No, I'll go. What are you doing? You meant to say, yeah, yeah, you're going. Why are you doing this? G'day, guys. Prado 150 out of here. How you going? So this morning, we're doing a bit of driving. We're gonna um, drive down there, have a look. Uh, the old war zone thingies. Um, yep, we're gonna... Dad needs to go to the loo, so we're gonna drop Dad off up there. Um, so today's just gonna be relaxing, driving around, a bit of tourist stuff. Um, yeah, so stay tuned.
Fighter 150 out of here. So uh, you would have seen us, we just drove into the camping site uh, with the toilet block. So um, yeah, you just these these are all campsites here, the toilets are just over there. So um, if you if you're wondering why I've got my phone in my hand, it's because I'm controlling the GoPro with my phone, I'm just making sure I'm just, picture, just in case you thought I was too busy on my phone. Um, because there's not too many bars here. So anyway, like I was saying, yep, the toilets are over there, just to the left of you, and campsites are over here. And there's a few campsites on either side, you know, if you don't want to be right where the toilets are and still within walking distance. So um, without further ado, excuse me, because I've got to go to the toilet. Catch you later. Well guys, I just thought I'd uh, take the kids up here to the fort, show them a bit of history. I know I've, uh, recent videos I've uh, shown you, but uh, anyway, I'll give you another quick look. Let's have a bit of a look. Show them a bit of history, eh? Yeah, just a tip if you're ever up here, make sure you wear your thongs, not like me. Always done the right thing. Fortunately, people have uh, broken bottles here for some reason. What can you tell me, Lucky? No idea. Sure. <coughs> Excuse me. What can you tell me about the uh, history, Matt, here? I've got a Show some respect. Oh, that's why they've had to put the gates up. So Lockie, give me a quick rundown. What are these for? Uh, mm -hmm. Pirates. What, well, what was it? I don't know. Did you read it? So, Lockie, what can you tell me about this one, mate? Well, tell me about it. Tell me all about it. I'll give you a, I'll give you a hint, mate. Well, let me just probably written on there. So they um, have some high explosive stuff here. <laughs> they lifted this roof. They did. What an effort that would have been. That's probably why it's collapsed. Um, 
bit of history, learning some history. Cooking. Nothing. Nice beach, eh? Yeah. It's going to be windy for a swimming, isn't it? Can't beat the beach. Yeah, wet. Oh, well, that's a bit chilly. Absolutely happy about this uh, red arc. Look at that, car's not even turned on yet. 14.45 or 44 volts. Look at that, 45. That's just with a solar on its own. If you can see that or not, I'll put it down here so you can see. Oh, that's better. Look at that. And that matches up with that, which you can't see because it's um, doing a funny thing there. But anyway. It's not the, it's not the car, it's the video camera. It's a GoPro. That I'm going to change the uh, battery over here, mate. What Hearing Josh? Good. Good. Traction control off, Josh? Yep. Good. So, this is the uh, inland road. We're just going to head out to Light Reach, I think it's called. It's about 2Ks along. Give Josh a bit of a drive. We've been etching, etching, etching to get him to get in that driver's seat, drive on the sand. Been hanging him out until about now. So yeah, we're just gonna take a bit of a look at the inland road. Again, we've just got to watch the uh, tide times. Uh, we're not towing today, so we should be right anyway. There's a few more camp there's some camping places down here. You got Poverty Creek, which is on the other side of the island, um, a few other bits and pieces. So we probably won't venture all the way down there. Uh, we have camped there before, so we're just gonna take a look down this track. So yeah, we're just going into Lighthouse Reach. So we're gonna go and check that out, eh? Have a bit of a look. Got to wet the paper first. Put the coffee. Cheers, guys. Coffee time. Coffee time. It's so nice when you can have proper coffee out here in the bush.
Yeah, what are we at? This is called Bribey Island National Park, of course. No, it's called Lighthouse Reach Picnic Area. Is that right, Josh? So it's yep. just a bit of a day, um, day area, but nonetheless, quite nice. This Got is on the, the other, river. on the other side of the island. So if you look over there, yep, that's Queensland, and this is Bribey Island. Good on you. So over there's Australia, and this is Bribery. Yep. <laughs> but you have a Crocs, mate. Oh, we're not in the Cape. And there's a few flatties in there, I reckon, if you look hard enough. You reckon? Where's your fishing rod then? There's a flatty there. It's right. in the car. Codefish. Go eat it. Poverty Creek's up there somewhere. <coughs> what if James work at farms in there? Oh, did you see that fish? It's called the rockfish. It landed in from the sky.